This had to happen at some point. I'm wearing clothes on a naturist campsite. If you've been following our trip for the last couple of weeks, you know that we have been in a serious heat wave. It was so hot that we could barely do anything else than sit in the shade next to our tent or somewhere in the swimming pool. And the only time when we tried to do something cultural, we ended up going skinny dipping instead. But now it's different. When we arrived at Naturist Campsite Le Couderc, we were greeted with a thunderstorm. And since then, the temperatures have dropped. So today we decided to try to go out again and see what France has to offer outside of Naturist Campsites. One thing probably everybody does when they are on holiday in France is visit a local market. You can find these markets on every day of the week in the sm even the smallest towns. Like we are in Beaumont today and we are going to try to score some food for today. You want olives? I want everything. <laughs> <laughs> but then it started raining again so here we are back in our tent and that's a little bit the disadvantage of, t of tent life when it rains you're kind of stuck in a really small space do we have a leak we do <laughs> That does not really need that waterproof anymore after all these years, apparently. What a night was that! <laughs> On mornings like this one I really wish that I had the courage to wake up in the middle of the night and get the water protective thingy on the camera so I could get out and film the whole thunderstorm. But it was so warm and dry and cozy inside of the tent. I guess that's what differentiates us from all the diehard video makers. But anyway, our tent more or less survived. It proved to be more or less waterproof. It did get a little bit dirty, but all in all, I think it's fine, no? Yeah. We have a good tent. We have a good tent. After 10 years, it's still alive. We <laughs> have a good tent. <laughs> and, and look at the weather now. It's blue skies, a little bit cloudy. It's sunny. It's like nothing really happened last night. So we are gonna clean up a little bit, pack our stuff and try to soak up some culture again. We don't really know what the best thing is to do with uh, this thing, with our gas bottle. What we do is, during stormy weather, we just put it quite away from the tent, so if it would explode, it doesn't explode with us. But we're really not sure if that's the best thing we can do. So if you have any best practices, let us know. Bust it? <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast? <laughs> no. <laughs> Where was the time that we had smoothies for breakfast? Yeah, that's true. It's all the fault of my mom. My mom gave us two bags of one kilo of this. Candy. Candy. Are we ready for another storm? I think we are. Let's Almost. hope that it doesn't get that <laughs> <laughs> far. Today we're gonna try our luck in Bergerac, which is the nearest city to Le Couderc. And maybe you've ever heard about Cyrano de Bergerac, who's a, an artist and a, an architect. Well, he's actually from there, so hopefully we can find some remnants or some other art. It 
it looks like we are not the only ones who thought that visiting Bouzerac was a good idea today. There he is, the reason why Bergerac is so famous. The funny thing about Cyrano de Bergerac is that apparently he was just a mediocre artist. He wasn't really famous or popular. The only reason why he gained fame was because many centuries later somebody decided to make a play about his life and totally romanticized his life. And that play got, got very, very famous and now that's why Cyrano de Bergerac is such a well-known name. How much is it to buy a house in Bergerac? This one is 500,000. Too expensive. Bad. It's okay. For now. <laughs> this is where all the cheap houses are sold. Apparently. And they don't look bad. They look no. really nice. No. I wonder what's wrong with them. It's getting cold in winter. <laughs> That's what's wrong. <laughs> What did I say yesterday? There are markets everywhere in France. Yes, but we're just too late. Yeah, for, oh seems yeah. like for this one we're just a little bit too late. Here we go again. Feels like it's starting to rain. Yep. Let's let's try to find a safe place. It feels like the weather gods really don't want us to explore France. No. <laughs> but they want us to explore the local delicacies. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> The rain is gone and Bergerac returns to its picturesque selfness. And this place is really picturesque. It looks a little bit like a fairy tale village. On a scale of 1 to 10 for picturesqueness. Uh, the streets an 8.5. <laughs> You're <laughs> a tough you, judge. If you delete all the other people. <laughs> By the way, the street is called the Rue du Grand Moulin. It's the street of the big muscle. Feel free to make jokes about it, we already did. You want to buy some bicycle accessories? No, but I like the music. <laughs> so. Looks really cool though. Yeah, it looks There's really cool. Bottles here, bottles there, one bottle here. This is our kind of bike, to be honest, with a lot of bottles and the flowers and... We don't have a bicycle, but if we had, we would buy these bottle bags. Yes, and this bicycle. And this bicycle. <laughs> and now we got back to the Dordogne River, the landmark of this area. Skinny dip? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think all these people know that we skinny dipped in this river? Ah, maybe. We can go and tell them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. If we had been here a week ago, I think we would again be looking for a place to skinny dip. Definitely. But yeah, now it's not really the weather. No. You can go if you want to. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Because it's cold. <laughs> I'm getting your vibes because you're always cold. You're infecting me. <laughs> There is the rain! I don't know if it's the weather gods or the YouTube gods, but somebody clearly wants us to make only videos about nature's yeah. resorts. <laughs> so I guess that our only option is to go back to Le Coudec and... I Enjoy think it in the rain? No, Maybe it will it's be gonna sunny It's going to be sunny, it's going to be sunny yes, over there. Yes, okay. And happy hour is yeah. coming up anyway, so we have to go back. <laughs> See you there!
It's not raining. It's happy hour. There's Belgian beer and this is even a big Belgian beer. We just extended our stay at Le Codec for a couple of days more because it's actually a really nice place to be even in shitty weather. So hopefully one of the next days we can show you a bit more of the campsite. Cheers! We woke up with the sunrise this morning because today is our last day at Le Codec and we really wanted to take the chance to show you around the campsite. But the sun decided not to wake up with us. No, she was sleepy. <laughs> Instead, we got a grey sky and we tried to get some shots, but they all look pretty dull without the sunlight. I would even say that they look a little bit creepy, no? Yeah, and they definitely don't represent Le Coudec as we know it. Like this bar, for example, you have to try to imagine it with lots of sun and lots of people and children running around and everybody having fun. But I can imagine that with a shot like this, it's kind of difficult to imagine it. One thing we do still want to show you are these statues of the founders holding a sign that it's okay to die naked. Dressing up for dinner is quite popular at French naturist resorts so much that some naturists even assume that they have to be clothed in the restaurant even if they don't and even if they rather be naked and thanks to a sign like this you know what's happening yeah. you know the rules there's no doubt it's easy it's clear yep. yeah but anyway in a weather like this it didn't make any sense to go film the whole campsite so i guess that you will just have to trust on our word or just come and see for yourself that's even better right that's that's also a great <laughs> idea in any case, we are going to continue our trip through France, yeah. hopefully in a little bit of better weather. So if you don't want to miss that... You know what to do. Subscribe to our channel, put on your notifications, because you get a notification every time we have an awesome video online. <laughs> and if you like this awesome video, please give us a big fat thumbs up and we see you in our next one. <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs> are we gonna film each other? <laughs> That's what they do when it rains.